So good day everyone, I am Kendrick A.T. Villoria of Grade 11, St. Patrick of Ireland. I am standing here in front of you to discuss some important matters regarding the Filipino language versus the Korean language. So before I formally start my discussion for this day, I want to ask you a question. Do any one of you here watch K-drama or listen to Korean pop songs? If so, raise your hands. Don't be shy. Okay, thank you. Please put it down. But the real question that I want to ask you is, do students need the Korean language as an ele elective subject? Why or why not? So I want you to think of that question carefully. I want you to reflect upon that question and think of your answers carefully as I try to answer that question myself here in my speech. So without further ado, let's begin. Do students need Korean language as an elective subject? Some people might say yes, but some people might also say no. According to the Department of Education or DepEd, they are formalizing the inclusion of the Korean language into public high schools as part of their curriculum. So as an individual, learning different kinds of languages or being a multilingual itself is a big help. It has a lot of positive effects that affects your metabolism, intelligence, and even growth. In other words, it is a new way for the youth to develop themselves as an individual. However, Korean language is not that applicable to many. Some might say that learning the Korean language will be a big help when it comes to applying for jobs in the future. But according to the research of Quora.com, languages like Mandarin, Japanese, and Arabic are much bigger help in applying for jobs in the future rather than the Korean language. But of course, before learning these kinds of languages, one must first prioritize to learn the Filipino language. In this generation, the Filipinos, especially the youth, do not know how to speak proper Filipino. This is because of some Filipinos who are acquiring the culture of other countries rather than their own culture, influencing the young ones to do what they are not supposed to do. That's why, as Filipinos, one must remember to first prioritize the Filipino language. One must not let the Filipino culture slip away from their minds. Remember that in Filipino history, many Filipino heroes fought and risked their lives just to protect the Filipino people, the Filipino culture, and of course, the Filipino language. The Filipino language is actually the official national language of the Philippines. It is a language that must be used by all Filipinos across the nation, regardless of what province or island one lives in. It has this importance because it just so happened that the Filipinos living here in Manila have historically used it primarily. So as an individual, as a Filipino, one must preserve, cherish, and use the Filipino language wholeheartedly. Students do not need Korean language as an elective subject. So as our Dr. Osir Salma say, he who does not love his own language is far worse than an animal and a rotten fish. That's all. Thank you and God bless.